welcome guys so in our previous lecture we have seen how to use id locator how to use class name and how to use link text okay so in this lecture we are going to talk about xpath and css how to develop our xpath and how to develop our css okay so for that let's go to our uh, facebook page and let's see how to develop our xpath so before starting our xpath session i let me tell you one thing that you can generate xpath from the browser tool okay there is a one tool uh, through that you can develop your own uh, xpath and you have a good number of developer tool out there through that uh, you know you can develop your own uh, xpath developer tool is basically you know it helps you to write your own xpath but uh, you know those are not 100% reliable uh, when i say 100% that means it could be 99% or it could be 99.99% but every time you cannot you know dependent on all the browser tools so for that time at that moment you have to write your own uh, xpath which is called your own customized xpath so in our coming session we will see how to write our own uh, you know uh, customized xpath and customized css but uh, first uh, we see how to use those uh, developer tool and how to uh, through that developer tool how to write our own xpath okay so let's see uh, uh, let me tell you our first requirement first requirement is uh, through xpath we have to inspect this field email or phone number field through xpath we have to inspect this password field we have to give some input and after that through our xpath we have to inspect this login button and it should click on login button okay so let's see how to write xpath okay so first what is our requirement our requirement is we have to find out this uh, web uh, this field and we have to write a x path for this field okay so how first we have to know how we will write a x path and how we'll find our x path okay so and one more thing i am doing this session in chrome browser once i finish with this i will show you how to write xpath in our x uh, or using our mozilla browser as well okay so first let's start with google chrome so when i say i have to inspect uh, this field and i have to write xpath for this field that time what you have to do just inspect that particular field and you can see some html value and now you can see some id classes you know uh, which we have completed in our last lecture but this time when you see some blue highlighted line that means you have to know that this line this html code is for this field and you just have to right click on that and you can see copy option okay and later on if you come here see copy xpath what you have to do you just click on copy xpath and paste somewhere and this is your xpath for this field see it's very very easy okay this is your xpath for this field okay now you got to know how to find xpath through developer tool just right click on blue highlighted line and take your cursor on copy and just copy xpath okay and paste it somewhere wherever you want okay so let's write a step for this i have to investigate this field okay so let's write a script for that uh let me comment this line same way we have to write driver dot now what we are using locator we are using xpath okay so dot find oops 
dot find element by dot x path see x path double click on that and inside that you have to give your x path so before giving your x path let me tell you one more thing you can see that this is attribute and this is the value of that attribute but in this x path this value is in double code okay so selenium will not accept this double code so for that we have to make some make some changes here and instead of double code we have to give the single code okay so after giving this just copy your x path and make a habit okay instead of double quote you have to give single quote and after that just paste your expert inside this double quote and after that what we have to do we cannot click right we have to send some keys over here so after that send some keys i will give something okay and done we are done with email or phone number field okay so what is our next requirement our next requirement is we have to inspect this field as well so how to find the x path of this field just spy on that and you can see a blue highlighted line just right click on that and just copy x path and just keep it somewhere so is this correct yes it is correct okay so now what we have to do what changes we have to done we just change double quote with single quote okay correct you understand okay just copy that and write your script write a step for that driver dot find element by dot <clears throat> x path inside double code just paste your x path and here also we have to send some keys right okay so send your keys oops sorry send your keys something okay so we are done with our password field as well now what we have to do now we have to click on this login button so for that also we have to find the expert for that how to find just spy on that and you can see a blue highlighted line just right click on that and copy expert and store it somewhere okay so and now you can see one thing <clears throat> maybe if you are following my videos you can see in my last video there is a video must watch video where i have mentioned you can see some alphanumeric values which you should not take and that time i didn't find like any field where they have used alphanumeric field and in this video you can see we have su successfully inspected one element where they have used uh, alphanumeric value okay and which is id so actually we should not take this alphanumeric value so might be uh, after browsing i mean after refreshing this uh, browser it will get changed and see it got changed what was that our alphanumeric value was u underscore o underscore 3 right now you can see what is that u underscore o underscore a correct so as i mentioned in my old videos please do not take this type of alphanumeric values okay please follow me i will guide you and you will be masters in selenium okay so as of now we will not take this field so in my coming session when we will write our own customized expert that time i will show you how to write 
your customized xpath for this login field so as of now we'll just see this two field okay so i guess we are done with this two step and let's run this and let's see whether it will work or not it invokes it maximized open facebook it goes see it sends our data in this field and password field as well right so now you got to know how to write your uh, xpath right just right click on that blue highlighted line and copy take your cursor on the copy and copy xpath okay so i have shown you how to write xpath in chrome browser okay so now let's see how to write xpath in mozilla firefox okay so let's see open facebook oops uh just a minute give me okay so just write facebook and we'll see okay so for that as well which field we need to inspect this email field okay so right click on that and click on inspect element take your browser take just spy on that you can see a blue highlighted line okay blue highlighted line so before that let me correct yes it is correct only so you can see some blue highlighted line okay so same way just right click on that and right click on that and you can see xpath okay just take your cursor on copy and see xpath okay just click on xpath now you can keep your xpath somewhere and you can see whether it is correct or not for email and field see email field this is firefox we got it from firefox browser and this is for chrome right see both are same but we cannot say that like every time when you find xpath or, or like through or various uh, browser it will be same no and if you see that uh, xpaths are different please don't panic okay it might happen it might happen so don't worry about that and there are like earlier what happened earlier in firefox browser firefox guys has developed one uh, add a plugin name uh, firebug okay see now we are doing right click and you know copy after that uh, copy expert no earlier what happened there is a like one uh field was there if you spy on that particular field whatever wherever you want to investigate on and there was one field okay at that time that xpath was getting automatically generated over that uh, text box okay but after that what happened uh, firefox guys have uh, depreciated that plugin from the uh, firebug because currently i am using um, let me check currently i am using 67 okay firefox firefox version is 67 which is the very latest version and that plugin was present in around like a 45 or 46 version okay if you if you if someone can use that 46 or 45 version you can see if you want to plug in that fire bug you can easily plug in okay but since it is not available in our this browser so we will not use uh, that firebug plugin but chrome has a different plugin in my coming session i will show you what are the plugins uh, we can use for chrome okay so as of now in this video we are clear with xpath correct so if you don't understand any topic please reach me out at pratikkumarnag at gmail.com and uh, yeah 
and in our next video i will show you how to write xpath and after that slowly we will go with our customized xpath see if we finish like if we clearly understand this xpath and css and this locator topics no so trust me 50 percent we will cover here only after that just simply you just need to remember some methods and how to write script that's it okay don't worry about this i'll take care of all those queries and all those issues okay so thank you thank you so much see you in my next videos